What's going on guys? Today I'm finally going to do my review on the NVIDIA Q300. But first off, I want to answer everyone's question. Is the NVIDIA Q300 too quiet? Because all over the internet there's jokes that you know the Q300 equals quiet 300 or the Q300 sounds just like stock. I'm going to go ahead and get this question out of the way. No, the Q300 is not too quiet. To me it's perfect. I've had nothing but compliments ever since I've installed this exhaust. Everybody tells me it sounds amazing going down the road and when I'm taking off or doing a drive-by. Everybody says this exhaust sounds awesome and I couldn't agree more. I'm very happy with the NVIDIA Q300. So with that being said, let's get on with the review. Uh, the first thing I want to get out of the way is no, it does not sound stock at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to drop two video clips before and after right now. I think honestly where a lot of people go wrong with the Q300 is they try to pair it with a stock downpipe because to those that don't know that much about modding or what makes the car sound good or just in general, the first thing everybody wants to do is a cat-back exhaust, and I have no idea why. Uh, cat-back exhaust doesn't increase the horsepower very much at all. You know, it, like I said, it pretty much just makes noise. So I think where a lot of people go wrong with saying the Q300 is too quiet is they pair it up with the stock uh, downpipe. Uh, mine is paired with the Skunk 2 downpipe because the stock downpipe has two catalytic converters that are very restricted and it's just not opened up. So to me that's where a lot of people go wrong by saying the Q300 is too quiet or the very first mod they do is the Q300. So no, it's, it's probably not going to sound as good as it should paired with the stock downpipe. It doesn't have that annoying rice sound either like a fart can. It has a really good deep tone and like I said in the earlier comments of this video, I've had nothing but compliments. And to even people around me that aren't even fans of imports, they said this car sounds awesome now. So that in itself should tell you that the Q300's all right. All right, let's talk about quality and uh, fitment. It bolted right up to where the factory one did and the quality is excellent. All the welds are good. It feels like it's made really well. I will say this is my only complaint about the Q300 so far. Somewhere it's rattling on something and it doesn't do it very often, but when it does, it is annoying. And if you get on YouTube, you can uh, YouTube Q300 rattle fix and people are taking an unused hanger mount back here and they're like uh, spot welding another bracket onto their Q300 and put another, another hanger in place of that. I don't know if that fixes it or not. I personally haven't tried it, but it doesn't do it enough to get on my nerves that bad that I want to fix it yet, but it is there. So the one bad thing I have to say about the Q300 is it's rattling on something. I've checked all my heat shields, nothing's loose, and it seems to do it whenever the, you know, like I'm turning like a hard left or going down a bumpy road uh, it's just it's rattling on something and i don't know what it is but it's it's frustrating sometimes but it's not frustrating enough that i wish i hadn't bought the exhaust or anything like that so keep that in mind one very important thing i will mention is the cabin drone it's almost non-existent uh, 
I have a buddy of mine that rides with me to work every day because we work together and we, you know, we work an hour away from where we live. But the cabin drone, it's it's just really not there. At about 75 to 78 mile an hour, um, you know, there's a little drone, but it's not enough to where, like, you can't have a conversation without yelling or talking loud. So, and then when my girlfriend's in here, you know, we're going down the road trying to talk and stuff. It's just really easy to have a conversation. And, like, if you're putting around town, uh, you can keep it about as quiet as you want to keep it. But then when you get into it, it really opens up and you're like, okay, you know, there's the exhaust I put on. But, you know, that's when you can hear how loud it really is. So anyways, guys, uh, yeah, like I said, cabin drone was something I didn't want, but I still wanted the exhaust to be deep, pretty loud, and uh, be able to still have a conversation with uh, my girlfriend or my friends in here, and the Q300 definitely delivered on that. All right, guys, and that wraps my review up of the Q300. I hope the exhaust clips I provided and the information I provided was good for you all. If y'all plan on getting the Q300, give me a thumbs up. If you all have experienced the Q300 rattle, give me a thumbs up as well and comment below uh, if yours is still doing it or if you fixed it and whatnot. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will do another video with more sound clips like a drive-by and takeoff and all that. I just want to get the review out of the way. Uh, it is still nasty weather where I'm living, so it's kind of hard to do the uh, sound clip video. But anyways, until next time, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're following me on my Instagram, at one jiu panda. Make sure you visit the website in the bottom right corner, www.kseriesprobes.com.